Hey, go, Mazan. Hi, Maggie. Hey. So I just received an email from the head office um, concerning our last project. Um, they would like us to review the last project. You know, um, what were the challenges we had? What was the problem? How did we work through this? And how did we fix it? Sounds good. Let's get to work. Yeah. I think we should probably start off with the field video. You can see that we have cracking going horizontally across here, which means that we have an active slope. This behavior was also seen at the bottom of the slope, meaning that we have ground moving from the- Let's just take a look at what's going on. So right here on the side, we have two visuals. Um, and one we can see, we have like the movement of um, the unstable slope. And as we can see, the movement of this unstable slope result in the cracks we can see in the picture right beside to our left. We can see these cracks um, at the top and at the bottom of that slope. And this area is where the unstable slope is moving. And right in between that we have, between the stable, the unstable soil and the stable soil, we have the critical failure plane. In the boring logs, we can see what types of soils we have. In the top we have, have silts and soft clays. And in the bottom we have stronger earth soils, which are what we're going to use to anchor in our soil nails. Okay. The boring log shows us as the types of different soils and their elevations that they have. Elevations that they have. Diagrams here, we can see the soil nailing being put into place. The first thing that we have to do is cut out some of the current unstable soil to make room to place in the soil nails. These nails then go through the unstable soil and then are anchored into the stable soil. After the these nails are put in place, there is a steel cage put up and then shockcrete is sprayed on top of it to reinforce and build a quote-unquote wall. Through this, we obtain a higher factor of safety of 1.6, which is due to the fact that uh, you will have a higher strength in the reinforcement of the soil. Here is the fully constructed project before the aesthetic cap has been added. As we can see, the shock crete has been and completely applied and the wall is sturdy and stable. We would like to recognize everybody that contributed to the making of this video.